welcome to Days of Realization. For those of you who don't know, Days of Realization is a program that Trent puts on every two years that is designed around the Every 15 Minutes program. What we've done is every 15 minutes a GL student has been taken out of class on a stretcher, accompanied by the Grim Reaper, and had their faces painted white and all forms of communication have been taken away. Andrew Ippolito, Grace Sanzalone, Jensen Butler, Mark Cranston, Brianna Graziano, Casey Warswick, Colin Lurch, Claire Holbert, Anthony Amatucci, Jasmine Fong, James Blash, Lauren Sobel, Rob Dilly, Victoria Hubbinger, John Iorio, Chris Marzo, Sean Procaccini, Jeff McMahon, Mike Rhodes, RJ Greeley, Nick DeSorno, Pat Mahoney, Liv and Taylor Hendrzak, Ryan McElroy, Daniel McGovern, Wendy Richards, Lisa Dybar. After a night of drinking in Free Acres, Sarah and Rob Dilly, who are always competitive twins, decided to see who's the fastest swimmer. Greg and, and Mike both had really nice and fast cars. They wanted to show off to their friends. After a night of drinking with their friends, a challenge was offered for the two of them to race. John Iorio needed to drive his friend home, get himself home, since it was approaching 11 at night, and he only had his probationary license. Nick and his friends were racing through the, res the reservation when Nick lost control of his car and hit a tree. While leaving a Governor of Livingston faculty dinner on Monday night, Wendy Richards and Lisa Dybar decided to carpool since Wendy's car was in the auto shop. Prom was only a month away, and Richard wanted to ask his girlfriend who, had been, who he has been dating since freshman year. Liv and Taylor Henderzak, the end of a high school party that twins Liv and Taylor were at, they needed to get a ride home. Taylor forgot her license and would not drive a car without it. On May 11, 2014, Chris Marzo was pronounced dead at his house. So Grace and a friend, who looked 21, went to a liquor store. After the party, everyone had their trust in the designated driver, did not realize that he had also been drinking. Because of their impaired judgment, they both ended up diving headfirst into the pool. What they did not realize was the pool was only three feet deep. A couple hours later, when his parents came home, they found him lying on the couch, not moving or making a sound. During the course of the race, Mike lost control of his vehicle and struck Greg's vehicle, causing both vehicles to veer off into the woods, striking the large trees head on. When a drunk driver blew through a red light and collided with Richard's car. When the firefighters arrived, they pulled out the jaws of life to rescue Sean. She asked her friends for a ride who had been drinking that night, and they started on their way to Tori's house. Liv began to pick up speed. Taylor told her to slow down, which led to an argument amongst the two. Liv was not paying attention to the road and crashed the car into a telephone pole. Upon emergency personnel arrival, Nick was in critical condition and was taken to the University Trauma Center by helicopter. They drove away, the driver was speeding down Route 22 on Mountainside, and the driver lost control and the car went slamming into a tree and Anthony was flown from the vehicle. At the end of the reunion, Jasmine's parents would not let her drive home since she only had a permit. Her dad lost control on the highway swerved into oncoming traffic. In route to Overlook, Liv was pronounced dead. Taylor was alive, but died shortly after due to her injuries. The accident happened at 10 p.m., and Richard was pronounced dead at the hospital at 10.15. After several EMT workers responded and registered aid to both Mike and Greg, it was decided that the only chance they had was to be airlifted to Memorialstown Memorial Hospital. The only survivor was Jasmine's dad, who was sentenced to life in prison. They rushed him to Overlook Hospital, but he died when he choked on his own vomit earlier that evening. Their bodies were later found the next day. Doctors tried to save Nick, but due to internal bleeding, Nick's life was lost. First responders were called immediately by a witness but it was too late to save anyone. Their car flipped over the divider and landed upside down. Lisa hit her head and died from major blood loss. His friend failed to stop in time and accidentally ran over JP. He leaves behind his younger brother Jack and his family. 
Oh, uh-huh.